Nagash, sweet Nagash, what are we going to do with you? Arkin the Black is down here at Orion's camp. We're going to bring him around town, somewhere anyway. I've got to pick up a few more books. You know me, I'm a book collector. I like to delve into forbidden knowledge. It's my thing. Where is it at? Ah, oh, right over here. Okay, so we need to go kill whatever's over here because I want a book. Where are you? Okay, Arkin, let's bring you over here. We're going to have all of our books pretty soon. That's going to be pretty exciting, I think. Yeah, it'll be pretty good. Look at all these Ghostbuster streams coming from Uatech. Dirty. Okay, Lamazash, you're over here. What will I do with you? I could move you to the front lines. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to start moving people to the front lines, I think. That's my idea, and we're going to roll with it. Okay, Ankar the Peerless, what are you doing? Surviving? Yeah, me too, man. I totally feel you. King Wakoff, there you are. What are you doing? I suppose you could begin to move down as well. I will tell you, my armies feel a little bit more regimented here than in my Cetra campaign. Probably because we've got a little bit less land to deal with. That probably does help. I could help him out by, like, issuing sandstorms. That would be interesting, but no, I'm not going to help him out. Oh, right, we've got a bad boy over there, Mr. Pritzcock. Yeah, if you want to make jokes about that, feel free to. I know I will. Alright. New dynasty, you say? Oh, alright. Well, is he going to be able to take out Coffer? Probably. I don't have a wall there. Should have a wall there, but I don't. I had a panther? No, it's all good, right? Yeah, it's all good. Okay, let's go and get someone new. Who shall it be? Will it be you, King Entes? Yeah, sure, King Entes. Entes, let's get you over here, buddy. I don't really have too much for you right now, though. I could give you a lot of carriants for fun. I'll give you five archers. Change it up a little bit. There we go. A very weak, tiny army, but we can change it up later whenever we get more room to do things. I've got a lot of jars. I'm also a jar collector. I enjoy putting organs into jars, and it's my thing. So, yeah. Okay, I'll get that later. I don't really want it right now. What about some really cool armor? Yeah, okay. Scorpion armor. Look at that. Damage resistance, 22%. That's if their health goes down, but still, that's really good. So, let's go grab that. Done. Whoever shall I give it to? Good question. Someone, probably. Okay, weapons are over here. I don't have any obsidian. I need obsidian. Carved obsidian. I can get a blade of morning fire. Yeah, we could do that. Let's do it. Boom. All right, what else can I build for enchanted items down here? Not, okay, I, yeah, I really do need carved obsidian. Magic resistance, what about over here? Causes terror, neat. What about talismans? All right, another epic item. I'm making my own loot. It's like, wow, I'm crafting epics. Where's my legendaries, though? No, I need timber for that. We don't have any timber. Well, I better work on that later. Yep. That's pretty good, though. 25% magic resistance. I mean, you could do some crazy stuff. You could have leaders that are just, like, impervious to magic. You could definitely customize what you equip your guys out with, which is pretty darn cool. I've got to say, that's pretty darn cool. Okay, Armor of Destiny. We could let you keep that. I can give you what you truly want, Nagash. But you're mighty enough. I don't think you need that. What about Prince Desh? Oh, yes, indeed, he does. Here's his Blade of Morning Fire. Here's your Amulet of Fasta. Fasta? Really? This moon-shaped amulet projects a disruptive magical energy onto the enemy's defenses. Hmm, indeed. Take that if you would like. And I used up a lot of stuff. Just for the hell of it. I don't know where I'm going to bring you yet, friendo. That'll have to wait. Okay, let's see then. Plane of Tuskers. I'm just going to in turn. I'm kind of thinking about doing some more last days. I miss it. I want to play some more last days before Bannerlord, whenever that, that's out. Maybe like later this year. I have no idea. But anyway, that would be really cool. I would really, really dig that. So I think I'm going to consider it. Yeah, I do need one army to get back home as we do need to fight Tyrion and friends. The High Elves are coming to my land and I've got books to collect. I can get all of them, I believe, on my current continent, which is really cool. Oh, as for... D&D, it's been pretty cool. I've been planning out some backstory stuff for a lot of my player characters who are really into role-playing. I don't know how to DM for non-role players. I'm not very good at it because I talk to them as a NPC in character. 
I'll do a voice or something, kind of how I've done so in like mini games or things like that. So I don't know how to do that for non role players. I've tried, but I guess like they at least need to tell me if they use their normal voice, like, hey, my character's saying so and so, blah, blah. Then it does help me out a lot. Eternal servitude. Okay. A few bones and bodies. Sure. Sufficient servants. Yeah, take the jars, man. Look at that. Our magic will be powerful for 10 turns. Incredibly powerful. How could I forget about you, man? I guess I did. Is he besieging it? Yeah, I guess so. Well, here comes me. You know what? I guess we could go over here and just go grab a few things like a casket of souls or a great incantation to Kassar. Or even that, too. You know what? Yeah. We'll do it. It'll give me some powerful abilities to use in combat if I'm outnumbered. If you burn out Coffer, I'll just bring someone to come rebuild it at tier 3, which is cool. So that's pretty handy. Okay, let's kind of think about what we want to do right now. We've got a few things to do. Let me think about it. I need to go look at a few areas to build in, I think. Yeah. Tier 4. Cool, cool. All right, let's go buy income, though. I usually like to build in my more developed areas, like over here. Wow. Go, Henry. Yeah, we're going to bring you over here, walk off. You've got a lot of powerful stuff, so I can't leave you over here forever. I might have you go fight some high elves later. Like, land on their land, just burn a few things down. I don't know. Man, I kind of want a Warcraft Total War more than anything now. I want Dalaran. I want the Kirin Tour. I want all of his stuff just added in. It'll be so cool. And the orcs watching actual... I love what they've done with... I don't know, a lot of fantasy races and all that. I mean, like, orcs aren't just, like, evil things. They are varied, much like everyone else is. <laughs> all right, let's see. What's over here? I'm going to go and build... Yeah, let's build that for more campaign movement. Even slight movement. Like, that's very good. Last Yuck, we need to make sure that we have walls all over here. As you well know, we've got enemies coming here. El Haik, you need that too. Fires, what about you? You got your stuff building? Yeah, you got it. Going to make more money. I have a lot of money, but why not make more money? Have you considered that? Yeah. I know, I sound like a real-life billionaire. I know I have billions, but what about, what about more billions? <laughs> but in my case, I spend it all on my infrastructure, so it actually goes back to my people, right? So, not nearly as bad. Lizardman intervention. I love that I'm not having to deal with those interventions. I'm not having to deal with the vortexes. All right with me. I wouldn't have minded the threats from chaos if it was like demons, like gigantic demons, and I'm having to hunt them down. Then that would have been cool. But normal humans, I don't really care for that. It's not really interesting or fun. Then it's just like army versus army. It's not like a true survival mission. But I guess like demons would have a hard time if they can't climb on your walls. But still, I would definitely prefer fighting hordes of demons and having to close portals down. Wouldn't that be cool? Like, instead of having them just spawn out of nowhere, they come from these portals that pop up. So you've got to, like, fight them and then fight them to the portal and then close that portal and then you'll be okay. Okay, we've got Bernhoff the Butcher. Let's go fight him. It's time to crush you, Bernhoff. Yeah, I should have some more D&D on Friday. We're going to play a little bit more. I've been looking at Adventures in Middle-Earth. There's actually a tabletop based on 5e for Lord of the Rings. It's really freaking cool. And I will say that 5e for D&D has a really boring system for overland travel. Like, you know how you might have to travel like 50 miles or something? Well, yeah, that's like overland travel, overmap, travel, whatever that you want to call it. And usually 5e is like, yeah... You could have some random battles. No, I'm not a Pokemon game, okay? I don't want to do that. So, what's cool is that Adventures in Middle-Earth adds in a lot of variation and even, like, roles for people to pick up in the group so that you're not just kind of rolling to see if random things go on. And it's just so cool. And so, I'm, re like, I'm really looking forward to translating that. I'm going to homebrew it a little bit, but I'm going to basically convert Adventures in Middle-Earth the overland traveling mechanics, which in Adventures is called the journey phase, um, and I'm going to convert it over to 5e. I mean, it won't be like me changing a ton of stuff. I'll be having my friend who's experienced in tabletop checking over like what I write. It'll be changing like a lot of flavor, and if I need to change balance, then I will do that too. Like, exhaustion's a little bit harsh. I think you get like disadvantage on all 
skill checks if you even have like one point, which is kind of nuts. Um, but yeah, if you played like older editions of D&D, how that kind of works out is that instead of like having plus two, plus three, blah, 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 you just have advantage or disadvantage. And so that kind of simplifies things big time. And Burnoff, you chose a game for me, buddy. Let's go. King Hutep, come my friend. Yeah, I still need to work my homebrew. I just haven't had time to. I've been busy and I have a lot more recording to do. I have so much that I want to do with my channel, so it's going to be a tough one. I don't know when I'm going to have time for anything, but I'm going to work on it. Free company militia. Okay. Go after you guys. You got some artillery. I don't like it. I'll try to go after it. Maybe we'll do something to it. I don't know. We'll see. All right, big birds, go take care of that. Team Scorpion, come back. I don't want you to deal with that. I don't really have any archers for you. I could get these guys to go out and attack them. That's true. All right. Go, gang, go. How's it looking over here? I should have known better. That's a bad idea. I mean, not like an awful idea, just not a good idea. <laughs> like how I have to save my own idea. Yeah, it's not too bad. I just want them to come to me. I don't really have any archers though, so that's gonna be interesting. But I did a lot of damage to them, so that's good. Come bomber birds, go! But yeah, these three will be able to spit stuff at that group and hopefully get rid of them. All right, let's fast forward and wait for them a little bit. Oh, my Shopti later. My Shopti will take care of their artillery. You know what, we're just gonna move up, I think. Yeah, it's just gonna move up. Let's go fight. I think we can take them on. Oh yeah, check this out. Go, Stalker Pack, go! But they're just kinda all staggered, so let's wait a minute. Guard mode is fine. All of you, no guard mode. Oh, you can come over here and attack, yeah. You two can go after this group before they start tearing you up. Yeah, turn, turn around. You'll come over here, Team Scorpion. All that artillery and crap is going to be so annoying, but anyway, look at that. Spitting! Hope you enjoyed that, fools. Yeah, I got a little reskin mod to make them actually look like freaking pirates and stuff. And they look very cool. Like, I definitely dig their look. Floppy hats is what it's all about. Yeah, one of you told me in my other video for Cetra that evidently there's going to be an update for War Sword pretty soon, and it better be stable. I don't care about the number of lords. That doesn't do anything for me. You can have like five lords per faction and I'd still be happier as long as the game ran well. That's just my own kind of twist on that. All right, let's go in now. We need to go in and attack. So let's go. We got to go charge in right now or we are in trouble. All right, let's get you to come over here. Get you to come over here. We're going to have you come over here too. We're going to have you go over here and just kind of bomb a few fools. Probably. Yeah, come over here. As far as... Team Scorpion, let's get you in too. And as far as all of you, let's get you up here right now. All right. Hell yeah, let's do it, friends. Palios, friendos. All right. Let's kind of move over here a little bit it's because we want to bomb them in a great group. When they're all grouped up, then I'll use my Scarabs again. And we bombed, and that's some serious damage. Let's go after now that Mortar. That Mortar can do a lot of damage to my relatively unarmored units. All right, use your stuff, man. Get in there. They have halberds, so we need to watch out. I think in melee, we can definitely take them on, though. They're just a bunch of peasants. Peasants with a heart of gold. All right, let's go over here and use that ability and break down some humans. Take that, you pirates. You landlubbers. Okay, and we're going after good old General... What's his name? Her Herdzella? Herdzella, yeah, that guy. We're going after him now. Oh yeah, big birds are doing it. Nice work. Look at all of my beautiful stalkers attacking. Oh yeah. Okay, you two. Go after this one unit. The rest of you can move out. Let's go. Go to other targets later. I know you'll beat that lord. Oh yeah, he beat that lord. He spanked them. As one is wont to do. All right, let's go in. Without their lord, they have nothing. What do they have? Training? Haha, <laughs> I think not. Oh wait, that's not their lord. Was that a captain? Okay, he just looks like a lord. I'm just not used to all the reskins yet. Oh yeah, wait, wait, no, you were, you were the secondary lord, my bad. Okay, so now we know. The more you know. All right, let's go over here now. Stalkers, get in there, go fight a little bit. Let's get you over here to go help me out. Yeah, come over here. And you, and you. On you. All right, let's go check it out. So here we go, these humans are fighting hard. They're on the wrong territory. If you want to raid any land, why would you go after mystical undead? I would be like, you know what, um, financially, uh, in terms of life preservation, we're gonna not do that. Go after humans, man. It's easier. Yeah, it's not a lot of humans in this campaign, but hey. 
All right, so we're pulling it off so far. We're at tier two, gonna be at tier three pretty soon. My shop, you should be able to break some fools. I wanna go after what they have over here. Oh yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. That's really bad, let's go. You guys stay fight over here. Let me go look at who is getting kind of trounced. They come over here and flank them. I think that'll work out. That's a Lord, let's get you to come over. Where's their own leader at? He's back here somewhere. Yeah, right over here, go get him. Stalkers, I need you to come over here. Go after that mortar team, or go after the mounted yeoman. There's nine of you over here. I know you're kind of losing it, but that's okay. Whatever we lose here is not a big deal. I just need to have them go back and rebuild later. And I need more elite units for them too, so that's gonna be a thing. All right, that's gonna be a whole thing. Let's go over here and go after this trebuchet. 119, yeah, they got a lot of kills, that's annoying. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this right over here into their free company militia. They've gotten 47 kills, the peasant bowmen have gotten a lot of kills, so let's just go kill them now. Oh yeah, go get them. They're gonna fall apart. I thought we had it too, but we did get the other guy, which is Bernhoff. So it looks like they're not looking so great anymore. Let's go after whatever they have nearby. Let's go check out who's not fighting. If you're not fighting, you should be, because their archers are so deadly. It's really funny how archers are deadly to undead. What, you're piercing my flesh? Oh no, I don't have any. Flesh here is a luxury. You go over here, buddy. Shanti, you've gone after the swordsman. That's a great job. We've got some mounted yeomen who are fighting hard. I mean, they're they're fighting hard. Good for them. Proud of them, kind of. All right, come over here. Come over here. Tomb Scorpion, come over here. Stalkers, come over here. Go after the archers. Yeah, too many of you are kind of grouped up in one location. One unit's been wiped out. That's okay, too. Shopti, you did your job. Good work. Come over here. Let's go after some more peasant bowmen and kill them. Or, okay, you're fighting pole arms, right? The anti large would definitely stop you in your tracks, but that's okay. Okay. 16. Got some more mounted yeoman archers coming after me. They're trying hard. Today is their day of desperation. Team Scorpion, get over here. Let's get some more of you. Oh, no, no, he's coming after me. Never mind. Go after him. There's a lot of you over here, too. Let's have more of you go after this group of bowmen. Stalkers could work. Come over here. Let's go after more mounted yeomen. Try to beat them down. There's 11 of you over here. Just charge at whatever you want. Whatever you want. However you want. Okay, there's three of you over here. Let's kind of bring you over to the big group that's left. The peasant bowmen are still alive. Let's come over here and kind of beat them down. My stalkers are just having a fun time. They're a very precise unit. They're not meant for massive battles for long periods of time. They're meant to flank and harry and harass. Harass. I just like to call it harass for fun. Anyway. Team Scorpion's doing a great job. Bernhoff is not going to be here much longer. How dare you fight my lord? You know, I've had a few people tell me that hobgoblins are a little bit hard to roleplay, and in my view, they're not. I just kind of think of them as more of a militant people entirely. So, in that case, like, kind of think of Worf from the next generation. I think that would be neat. Just kind of think of him as, yeah, a Klingon. And then you're probably good to go. Let's go after more of those bowmen. Let's come over here and get them. Go after those guys real quick. Thank you. Let's go kill their lord. Let's come over here and go after more of these free company militiamen. Whatever you can get, really. Let's come over here. You got most of them. Go after the bowmen. Let's kind of fast forward a little bit. The battle's over. So that was actually an interesting battle. We wounded one lord. That's good. Okay, the battle's over. We can chase after whoever. We don't really have a lot to chase with. But we can definitely do so. Yeah, go get him. Team Scorpion, you too. You get what you can, buddy. But yeah, I don't really find it that hard. I mean, if you want to go Cardassian with it, you could probably go Cardassian with it from Deep Space Nine, which is very good. I thought it was a very good show. A lot of character development. A little bit darker than your usual Star Trek. I don't. I haven't seen the new one yet. I don't even know how I'll feel about it for a while. Okay. Battle's over. So that's no longer a thing. In battle. So we lost 789, who cares? We're dead. I mean, are we dead if we kind of have traces of our minds left? No, no, we're, we're definitely dead. <laughs> I wonder if I want to add like some undead variant or something. I really like what Warcraft did and I think they made it pretty interesting and varied. Um, not the best lore in the world, but the writing I think for that kind of lessened later, I think 
Warcraft 3 was like pinnacle of Warcraft writing and stuff like that, so not the best over yeah, anyway. Let's go look over here. Puppets of Chaos, okay. So we're looking at a Taskmaster Confederation for two Skaven clans, tribes, groups. Okay, look at this dude. He's right. Oh my god, I'm losing a lot though. Oh, I do not like that. Uh uh. No, 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 no. No. I'm gonna move you like right over here, buddy. And then I'm gonna have you camp out for a minute. You didn't lose them. Okay, that's not too bad then. Yeah, we, we can go in and do that now. Let's go do that now. Just get it over with. Not too bad. Declare war. Oh, hell yeah. I want to declare war. I'm all about that war. Not a huge battle. They've got some cool stuff, though. Mm, should we do it? He's only a level one lord, so even if his army's powerful, it's not going to last long. Um. Oh, I can't auto. Okay, yeah. Never mind then. I can't do that. Okay, Arkin to Black. Okay, let's see here. Let's have a look. Infantry. It's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna freaking hoss them. Go nuts on them and eat their faces. That's what we do. I can't wait to do Curse of Strahd one day. I've got a really good role-playing group. If you've been on my Discord, you know a few of the guys like Dread, Erikel, you know Ollie, and I know Takeshi is going to be playing with us pretty soon. He's going to learn how to role-play and get into that. I'm not saying like, hockey a fair rise type of role-play, but like in the case of Dread, what he'll do, he'll like lower his voice a little bit and speak in a very calm tone. And like that's when I kind of know he's kind of in character. So like you don't really have to do much to denote when you're in character. Did, were, were you changed? I don't remember you looking like that. You look very cool, though. Maybe you always look like that. I don't remember. No, it was a reskin. That's what's up. Uh, anyway, I just remember that. And uh, you guys kind of look like, I don't know, crazy Digimon things. With all, you, all of your glowing. Okay, the monsters will go in their own group. The rest of you will just kind of move together, I think. My casket kind of far out. Move it back. I do have a Tomb Swarm, so that's always mighty and nice to have. All right, fast forward now. Let's do it. We got to go. Oh, you're throwing stuff at me? That's cool. Guess what I have coming after you? The sand pack. Oh, yeah. It's happening. All right, let's have you go heal my shop to you. They need it, man. They're having a tough time today. But not you. Not you, Necro Sphinx. Look at him go. Ooh, little baby spiders. I'm so scared. Let's go kill some spiders. Get him, boys. <laughs> Could you imagine the wars that we would have if they even had a Warcraft Total War? Because you can see the animosity between Alliance and Horde players. Imagine if that was for a Total War game. We would have mosh pits going on, I think. I don't even know what I would play more of. No idea. I think the undead would definitely feel more Skaven-like than anything else. At least in some ways, when it comes to all the plagues and whatnot. But all right, let's go in and fight. It's time. Go after the Minotaurs, thank you. Casket, you can do what you want. You two come over here. Let's go after their leader. You two kind of get over here if you want. All right, let's have you do whatever you need to do, which is that amulet. Boom. We'll have you help him out later. Anyway, let's get all of you over here to go after the Cygore. The Cygore's taking me off. You two can come over here, but my Necro Sphinx will go after the Cygore and destroy it completely. All right, let's go use some stuff on their infantry. Let's find out where I need to use it. There's not a lot of them, so kind of a tough one. We'll use it over here then. All right, let's go check things out real quick. Nagash has a lot of powerful magic, so let's begin to use it. Boom, boom, bam. Whizbang, whatever that means. 
We're gonna debuff some fools. Let's go ahead and debuff them over here. Seven orc biggins can die today. And then we're gonna use, let me look at it real quick. We can terrify a few of them. That's fair, let's go over here. Might even spirit leech. What's back here? Savage Orc Air Boys. Okay, so nothing crazy. The Fate of Buna, we'll use that on these boys right over here just for fun. Necro Sphinx is already chasing off the Saigor. The Saigor is not having a good day. It's already taken out how many? 72. That's way too many. Saigor will be fine. All right. You three, though. Come over here. Let's go after these Bessigor herds. Tomb Guard, go do your thing. You've already killed a lot. Archers, I think you've done your part. Go after the archers over here. All of you will go after these archers over here. Yeah, I'm moving a little bit faster. So what? I score her. Let's go get them. You want to come over here and fight some savage or boar boys or whatever. Feel free to do that, man. Some guard come over here. Let's go fight some more of these guys. Damage resistance real quick. We're going to do what then? We're going to turn you guys around and have you shoot over here. Done. All right, let's get you over here to go after some of these other melee units. It looks like they're kind of turning around a little bit to try to come after me. That's fine. I use a lot of my magic on them already. So we have some Tomb Scorpions that can come help out. Let's go get them right now. We've got Ushapti here currently fighting a bunch of Centigores. My Necro Sphinx is still going after the Saigor. We'll look at who else is fighting. Ushapti, you're doing your thing. Good work. Archers, what about you? You're attacking whatever targets that are nearby. Let's go after these Savage Orc boys. There we go. As for my infantry, I'll turn it off after this round. I always forget, but I will not forget for next time. Okay. So now we can go after whatever. I mean, there's not a lot left. We could just choose what we want to kill. Cool. I'm gonna come over here a little bit. I'm losing some warriors. I mean, they're not the highest tier warriors, so they're kind of meant to be lost. Let's go over here, and we can debuff some fools if we want to. Yeah, you know what? Let's debuff. And the battle's over. We've won. Thank you, Necrosphinx. 23 kills. And you finally got him. Oh, man. Taken down at the very end. You could not get away, Cygor. The Cygor is now gone. So we lost over 500, they lost 451. I mean, we, we have the numbers. They didn't have the freaking numbers. They had some powerful stuff, but a very weak Lord, Abishek the Blood Gatherer. No one really intimidating. This furthers my plan. Okay, let's go for replenishment. I'm okay on jars and money. Now it's just about getting to the very end, seeing through the ritual. The third of Nagash's books, a tome of a thousand souls, all singing for their release. The spirits howl and scream. Let their chorus echo our zeal for power. We did it, boys! Let's finish him off. Oh, I'll have to wait. Level 35, okay, what am I going to give you? I haven't really given you any melee stuff. I gave you some spell casting and all that, so... That's for range damage. I mean, that's 15% resistance. That's really powerful, so I'm going to give you that as much as I don't want to. Okay, level 27. What else am I going to give you? Blade Master. A Chariot. Yeah, a Chariot would be great. I could have you go after Archers, and that would be cool. So now I have another book. We need only one more book, and then it's all freaking over. So, it might be time. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I do have one down here. I could go after that one up there, or I could go down here. Ooh, that's a tough one. I almost wanted to just go after the High Elf one. Yeah, I might do that. Okay, Arkin. Time for us to leave, buddy. Nothing was burned down. Sweet. It's gonna bring you back up here anyway. Okay, King Hutep, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you yet. Let me figure this out. Good, push him away. You can't get anything new for a little bit. Let's we could bring you in here. Yeah, let's do that real quick. We're gonna give you some more warriors. We're gonna give you some more archers. You don't have any archers at all, do you? No. And while we're doing that, let's get rid of what you're recruiting. So we need some more powerful stuff. I'm going to have to work on getting some more recruitment zones built up. Like over here, tier 4. Okay, so let's go after... Hectracer actually really decent for what we have here. 
But I want to go after a statuary. And then I want to go after a scorpion nest. That's going to be two new ones. And then over here, more money. And then over here, for some more tomb guard, we'll take that. And then in Bel Eliad, we already have our wall, so we don't need to worry about that. We already have our resource goods built up. We could get even more money up, or I can get another recruitment area up. We'll get a Grave Hill. I haven't really done too much of that, so we're going to do that now. Let's go look at who we have. We got La Mizash, who is one of my most powerful lords in both of my campaigns. I want to give him some new armor, too. I should give it to my weaker commanders to really supplement them, but... Am I fighting anyone really important right now? Let me go look at that. I'm fighting... Court of Libraries, Lothurn. Okay, so no one down south. I don't need to worry about them then. So yeah, we have one more book to get. That's what we we're going to do then. We we're going to go get that book. It's my book. How dare you take my book? Okay. Let's see. We got Hot Tip. I'm going to give him a steed for once. Over here for Prince Kot. I'm going to give you a steed. I haven't been giving you steeds. For Hutep, what am I going to give you, buddy? Stone Sentinels. Yeah, we're going to do that. Over here, Lord moved. And Car the Peerless. Did you lose, like, a... Is someone wounded? But I had someone for you. You need a Tomb Prince. Yeah, you're kind of a newer lord anyway, so let's see. Can I get a higher level one elsewhere? Let's find out. Yep, over here. Very good. So we need a new Tomb Prince name. It looks very cool. Alright, so I'm going to give you... We don't need more jars. I'm just going to make you powerful melee real quick. There we go. Tomb Strike. And there we go. Okay, so what equipment will I give you? Yeah, take your mace. Potion of speed for fun. That works. Okay. So he's got a new friend to have in his army. Let's go work on getting... I've got all the heralds. Let's go work on getting... Let's see. No, we got all the technology we need. Never mind. <laughs> Alright. We're going to unlock some more stuff pretty soon for my Necro Sphinx and War Sphinxes. But we're going to call it here for right now. Look forward to another part tomorrow. Leave a like and comment down below if you would like to see more. And look forward to daily content again. Anyway, as always, until then.